When it comes to fashion design in Ottawa, there is one name that is synonymous with royalty. His designs have made headlines around the world and his school has produced some of the best designers in our country. His name is Richard Robinson and this year he celebrates 40 years of that success. So Richard, tell us a bit about your background story and how you got your start in the design world. Well, at the age of five, that's really when I started to be interested in fashion. Um, my mother was giving me my bath and she used to wrap a towel around my waist and the way it was draping, I was fascinated with that. <laughs> and then I was using my bedspread, making a cake, going down the stair as a prince. And At the age of five? At the age of five. Wow. And then at 12, that's really when I knew I'd become a fashion designer. And after that, then I studied two years in Montreal. Then I went to France. I studied at La Chambre Centrale des Coutures des Parisiens. Then I worked for Christian Dior and Yves Saint Laurent. Came back, opened my own fashion house in 1969. And how would you say that the design world has changed over the past 40 years? And how have you changed as a designer? It has changed a lot because when I opened in 69, there was not much going on in Canadian fashion. But now there's a lot of, you know, uh, young people are aware that you could make a career and become a fashion designer. Um, but at, in 69, it was not really obvious that you can succeed in the fashion field in Canada. But I had big dreams and I worked hard and I, I get what I had worked for. Well, this is probably like asking who your favorite child is, but if you could think of maybe one of your signature designs over the year, something that's the most memorable or your favorite, what would it be? Well, the most uh, rememberable one would be like when I designed the million dollar dress for Marlene Copeland because that made the headline in all over the world. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's funny because at that time, there's many people, uh, even men, that had started to be interested in fashion because they were, you know, curious about what's going on and there's something happening in Ottawa and, you know, they were, uh, they were more aware that, you know, like fashion and uh, so it was a, a time where uh, it was very exciting. What type of woman are you designing for? Well, uh, I would say my wife. She's the, the perfect type of woman that I... And she was my first customer. The first dress that I designed when I came from France was for her, and she was graduating as a nurse. And she asked me to design her gown for her, her ball. And then after, I asked her to model for me. Um, and the year after we were married. I like to design for all kind of women because that's what the, the challenge in fashion is to be able to, to come up with an idea that will make any woman look great. So it doesn't matter if a person is tall, slim or shorter and uh, bigger or you know like black hair, blonde hair, doesn't matter. It's the challenge is to be able to create something that will make those people look fantastic. <laughs> So if I was to ask you for some advice that you would give to a young designer just starting out in the business that wants to have a career as successful as yours, what would it be? Just follow your dream and put all your effort to, to achieve whatever your goal is and because anything is possible. If you put your mind to it and your heart, uh, you can achieve anything. Well, Richard, we would like to wish you congratulations and a happy anniversary, 40 years. Here's to what's next. Felicitations.